everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and my mom's on the show today, Ingrid Turner. Hi. And we're going to make some really tasty bite-sized niblets before dinner. This is going to be our hors d'oeuvre, mm -hmm. our appetizer hors d'oeuvre. And they're really easy to make. They'd be beautiful for entertaining. We're making herbed cream cheese stuffed nasturtium flour with a jalapeno hascap relish on top. It's going to be ridiculous. Awesome. So if you grow nasturtium in your garden and if you've grown them from seed, from your own seed, don't purchase them at the nursery and then bring them home and eat them. You can eat everything on the nasturtium plant from the flowers and the leaves, the stems, the seeds, everything, the whole thing, even the roots you can eat. Mm -hmm. But today I have just picked off some um, gorgeous flowers from a couple of ours. We have all different colors out there but I thought that the orange and the red uh, would be beautiful and all different yeah. shades of that color. Right. We're going to use this amazing Hascapa jalapeno relish. Make sure you check out our review on this stuff. It is ridiculously good and I keep trying to think of all kinds of things to use it on. So tonight we're going to use it again. Yes, and the whole uh, appetizer thing here is so good for a hot day. It's so fresh and bright. I agree. Yeah, it's, it's a horribly hot, humid day today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put these aside just for a second. I have about, I don't know, a half a brick of cream cheese, maybe a tiny bit more than that. And I'm going to just chop up some fresh herbs. Now in our garden, we've got a whole bunch of stuff, but today since we're using the jalapeno hascap relish, I wanted to kind of keep with sort of a Mexican-y theme. Sure. The, with the jalapenos. Yes. So I have some chives from the garden. I have some nice um, cilantro and awesome. a little bit of parsley. So just eyeball it, guys. It doesn't have to be exact. And I'm just going to mince this stuff up. And it looks so pretty mixed into the cream cheese. Boy, it smells so good. Oh. These herbs are awesome. Mm, nothing like fresh herbs. I concur. And those chives are amazing. They, they just make it right through the winter. I don't even have to replant them. This is the third year I've had them in my uh, big uh, floral urns. And they get bigger every year. The plant is yes. much larger every year. It's yeah. really caught on. And it looks beautiful in your planters. Oh, I think it's gorgeous because I have some dill in there, some chives. Mm -hmm. uh, a little mixing of everything. cilantro. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, so in the bowl, Put as much or as little as you like, okay? I'm also going to put the juice of a half of lime in here, just mm. to kind of brighten it up even more. I now love this, lime. Yes, me too. Now this is softened cream cheese. So it's been out and it's nice and workable. That's gonna be good. Of course, we need to shop, freshly crack some pepper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What would we do without our mortar and pestle? Oh, we use it every day. I do. Mm -hmm. Now you're probably wondering what I have my flowers in. <laughs> this is a jalapeno popper roasting tray. Cool, right? right? Yes. So how appropriate that we're using it with the jalapeno hascap. Yeah, roasting. that's the thing you did the poppers in. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So I just have it holding my flowers open for me. Um, I'm going to actually serve it in little escargot dishes just because it's going to look so pretty and crisp on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sprinkle as much or as little as you like. We like, I like these little chunky peppery bits in there. To this, I'm going to add a little bit of hot smoked paprika. Mm. Maybe, I don't know, quarter of a teaspoon. Now it's the spicy variety. I want it just a little bit spicy. The, the cream cheese, when you have creamy things, it really tones down the spice. Yes. So you can add a little bit more than maybe you usually would. But this is going to give a nice smoky flavor and it's going to color up the cream cheese a little bit more too. Now, since this is so soft, I should be able to just, yep, use the back of a little fork and mush everything together. I don't want to use the processor because I want to maintain these nice big chunks of herbs. Yeah, you don't want to just make it into a big mush. No. Oh, it smells awesome. Yeah, I agree. I like to see the little pieces. Me too. I, I like that. I wouldn't like it all uh, smushed into making a gray cream cheese. I concur. <laughs> We need a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Is that sea salt? Yes, that's blue Persian salt actually. Mm. You could always add a dash or two of Tabasco in this if you wanted to. Sure. Or hot sauce of any kind you like. Would you like to try that, Mama? Sure, I'd like to. You want to taste test before you start piping it in these flowers because mm -hmm. there's no turning back. 
That's good. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. A smoke paprika gets you at the end. You could even put more lime juice in. I was gonna say the lime is nice. It's so tangy. I love it. Mm. Mm. I think we're gonna leave it there. Boy, that's good. It's delicious. That's smoked paprika and it's just spicy enough. And after it's been sitting for a while, you'll get more of the chives and the, this is the other flavors too. This is true. So I'm going to use a bag. I have, now in Canada, we have, our milk comes in bags and you put it in a little container and pour it. But um, if you're in the United States, you don't have these. Just use a resealable plastic bag. But I'm just going to use an empty, clean milk bag. I'm just going to scoop my cheese in there and push it to one corner of the bag. You don't want to waste any of this goodness. Now today I just have I picked like eight flowers, but you just would you make as much as you need or and pick as many as you like. Treat them how you would treat mushrooms. You're not going to wash mushrooms, but you sure are going to um, wipe them off. Mm -hmm. So you want to be very delicate with the flowers. That's why I have them holding in this cool little tray. So you're going to get it all into one corner. Squeeze it all down, kind of like you would toothpaste. Or icing, you know, if you uh, do decorative icing, you could even put an icing tip in the bowl. Yes, you could, and it would be much prettier. I think sure. you did that with something else. I did. Deviled eggs. eggs. Oh, right. Avocado lime deviled eggs. Those were Those awesome. Were, they were good. Boy, oh boy. That would be good in here, too. A little bit of avocado mixed in with the cream cheese. Yeah. There's so many options here. So you're just going to cut a nice little bit off the end so that you can feed that cream cheese through. So you're gonna try and apply some even pressure and I wanna just kinda make a nice little swirly design. Now before I start filling them, this is what these flowers look like. And they have a little bit of a peppery flavor as does the rest of the plant. Um, the the, the nasturtium nodes are quite peppery, very strong. And if you wanna know what to do with them, we've made little um, pickled nasturtium mm -hmm. nodes oh, and right. they're, okay. they're like capers. Right. So, Check out that recipe because it's super cool. But the flowers, I would say, are the most mild part of the plant. Yes. So I'm just going to grab one of these nice big ones. And I'm going to be ever so gentle holding it by that bottom. And I'm just going to pipe it into there, into a little swirly pattern. Now, you want to leave some spot space because you're going to spoon over that relish, okay? So I'm going to see if this holds in here. That might not be a good idea. It might fall through. That's right. So we're just going to leave it right here on the on my little tray. And I'm going to continue filling these until we're done. Boy, that's going to be good. Mm -hmm. OK, so I'm taking my little piping. I'm going to fill the middle. And then I'm going to just do a nice little swirly pattern like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do on each one. These are gonna be nice little bite-sized bits that people can grab and eat. So cool. Have a flower. <laughs> right, and what a- Have con a flower for an appetizer. What a conversation piece. Right. And how gorgeous on a tray. You don't need a lot, just a swirl. You know that we have the uh, deviled egg trays? Mm -hmm. If we were serving a lot of people, and I think we might that at would some be perfect. point, uh, put them on that tray, it would be gorgeous. Yeah. Sure would, mommy. These are easy to do. I love flour. I would love to be able to say that. Isn't that cool? I knew you'd like this idea today. Mm. Little did I know when we were putting those uh, nasturtiums uh, in. How many cool things we could do with them? Right. I know. Actually, <clears throat> we have some uh, high, high hibiscus in bloom right now. That's um, also edible. We're going to have to think of something to do with them because they, are, they too are beautiful. But the flowers are like this. They're about 10 inches across. They're just amazing. We're going to fill those with some um, some kind of maybe uh, tabbouleh or couscous oh, salad yeah, or something or like that. It would something. be so beautiful. Yeah. You make that nice quinoa mm. salad. We could do that. Beautiful. Be now, these are all done, aren't they? They look so cute just like this. They are beautiful. So we have way more left. We're going to have to probably do another batch in a little while because we're going to love these. I already know. Now, I'm going to actually put these in the escargot tray now so that I can try and layer up the hiscap relish. Now, this hiscap relish is absolutely fantastic. It has a gorgeous, savory, sweet 
tangy, spicy flavor. Not, really not too hot. A beautiful after heat that comes along with it. Oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. These are even pretty just like this. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Just have to work a little slower and gently. That's all. But they hold up pretty nicely. They're pretty tough for being so delicate. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? How awesome would that be to get that served to you? And some appetizer. Are you kidding me? Just like that. But we're gonna go one step further. I know. We're gonna kick it up with this relish, and I it's, gotta show it to you. It's so amazing. You could eat this by the spoonful. Boy, mom would put this on toast. Mm -hmm. It has these big plump hascap berries in it. Now, if you don't know what a hascap berry is, they were indigenous to Northern Europe and to Asia. They grow all across Canada now. And um, the brand is called Hascapa. And boy, do they have a great product line of these Delicious. things. Now, the, the berry itself is kind of like a blueberry, but it's, it looks longer. It's like an oval shape. And larger. Much larger, about an inch long. Mm -hmm. But it looks like a blueberry, just a different shape. <laughs> Tastes like blueberry, cranberry, raspberry, elderberry, all mixed together. Gorgeous. Then you get the heat of the hasca, the sorry, the jalapeno. Unreal. This stuff is so good. So now I'm going to try and be gentle here and I'm going to put just a little bit of this relish on the top as a contrast to that white, mm. a little bit sweet, the nasturtium is peppery, this uh, cream cheese filling is all nice and herbed. I'm not complaining. I know it. <laughs> you want to try and keep it inside the flour though so that people can just grab it. so good oh my gosh okay well we're gonna try these two extra ones mm -hmm. how lucky oh, oh yes mm -hmm. can't wait oh imagine having a little cocktail party and serving these on a big platter oh go ahead and get of that mm -hmm. now go get it ready mm -hmm. cheers cheers baby oh, look at that baby mmm oh. That's a winner. Mmm. That is so good and light. You're not eating a whole bunch of carbs either. I mean, you have cream mm, cheese, my but God. you're not eating all those crackers. That here is absolutely heavenly. Oh. Okay. Mm. I'm having more. Too. I'd be popping these at a dinner party, mm. cocktail party. Mmm. Mm. I'd be like, just give me a whole plate. Mmm. The flour is delicate, but it holds everything in there. It's a little bit peppery. Mm -hmm. The cream mm -hmm. cheese is delicious. And it's fantastic, accentuated with that jalapeno hascap relish. That's out of control. The cilantro in there, I can taste that. I can taste the lime. I have I have that little sensation of the smoked, hot smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. oh, boy, that's good. We gotta eat the rest of these. Man, they're good, Kimmy. Mmm. Mm. Mm. They just look so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's not just the pretty face. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome recipe. Here, Mom. Enjoy. Absolutely I'm happy to pick some more. Dreamy. Delicious. Mm. Mm. And they're gone. We have some of this left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go pick some more nasturtium. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Outstanding. You've got to try this recipe. So cool. Now, you want to impress somebody. Wow. Now there's other flowers you can eat as well that you can stuff. Just look them up online. Like mom said, you can do a hibiscus, but hibiscus are really big. And it'd be a whole lot of cream cheese. It's a, it's yeah. a problem. I think you'd want to serve that as a side dish. But you could even put that on top of a uh, proper um, size and shape marigold. Mm -hmm. You can use that. You can use um, impatiens. You can use all kinds of different flowers. Yes, even fuchsias. Um, fuchsias, nastur um, nasturtium, you can use the impatience, you can use geraniums, you can use rose of Sharon. You could even put that in rose petals if they're organically grown. It would be gorgeous. Beautiful. That's how you do it. That's how you make herbed cream cheese stuffed nasturtium flour with jalapeno hascap relish. Right. Fan fantastic appetizer order they're beautiful they're Absolutely so pretty beautiful. everyone would be like what is that if you were having like a little 
blew up type of party. Imagine filling your flowers, different kinds of flowers with cream cheese or little bits of canola for a little side dish. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. It's, it's like so it's like the new kicked up version of a wrap, of a lettuce wrap. You can use flowers and they're so beautiful. And they're delicious. They are. They really taste good. So really that's do. how you do it. That's how you make herbs, cream cheese, stuff, nasturtium flour with jalapeno hascap relish. Mm. Fantastic. For more information on this Hascap product, Hascapa product, as well as others, check them out online at Hascapa.com. Oh, you're going to love anything Hascapa, believe me. They have jam, they have chutney, they've got juice, they've got dried berries. It's all good. It's fantastic. It sure is. I can't wait to make more of these. We're about mm -hmm. to kill that. I know. We have to use this up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And check me out. Make sure you check me out on Roku. Okay? Check out the website at cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, Kim. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow.